Good morning everyone, it's Shalina from Muggleborn.net and I'm procrastinating. I wasn't actually going to um, record it in my mailbox this week, mostly because all the books that I've been getting recently are now at home and since I'm at my dorm I don't really have books to show you guys. But um, I went home on Friday, I picked up some books dropped off others. I want to see what's been waiting for me package-wise, and I guess I can talk about them even if I don't have them with me. Um, first up is an audiobook from Macmillan Audio. It's All These Things I've Done by Gabrielle Zevin. I do have an arc of this one, so I've already read it, but I'm going to give this audiobook a shot. So I'm going to combine my review of the audiobook and the arc um, sometime this week. So I will listen to this tonight, and I'll let you guys know what I think. I did get a package from Ivy of Ivy Reads. I got a copy of The Darlings Are Forever and as well as Juliet Immortal, which is on my wish list. So thank you so much, Ivy. I also won another package from her, but I can't exactly remember everything that was in it. I know that I got a Wonderstruck tote bag, and since I read that last week, and I really loved it, I was so happy about that. But thanks again, Ivy. And happy belated birthday. Um, this next book is actually a book that I got during BEA, but over the summer it was with my friend Tasha because she really wanted to read it. It is Why We Broke Up by Daniel Handler, aka Lemony Snicket, the author of the series of Unfortunate Events. This sounds so good. Um, my friend Tasha told me that she had to stop reading it like every chapter because it's just so sad. Um, what I like about this book is that it came with really cool postcards um, that kind of match the illustrations inside the book. And basically what this is about, it's just a letter from this girl writing to her ex-boyfriend as to the reasons why they're breaking up. Last night I went out with my friends Alberto, Heidi, and Stefan to Lit Crawl New York City. I've never been to this event, but I this isn't the first year that they're doing it. But basically, you go to different places and they have like author readings, poetry readings, stuff like that. Um, but the first event that we went to, um, my friends and I actually won copies of a book. It's called You Deserve Nothing by Alexander Maxick. Um, this is apparently existential. existentialism. I think I'm saying that right. I honestly don't usually read this kind of book so I don't know when or if I will actually be picking this up but I did get a signed copy so I thought that was really cool and overall it was a really fun event. This this one is actually blurred by Alice Siebold who wrote The Lovely Bones so Maybe it actually is good, but I have loads of books to read right now. I don't know if I will ever pick this one up. From home, I did pick up a book to review this month. I know this one isn't in my... Actually, I'm not sure if this one made it to my September TBR pile, but since I've been hearing a lot of stuff about it, I might as well just put it in. It is Ashes by... Ilsa J. Vick, and I've been hearing a lot of hype about this. It's quite thick. I think it's dystopian. An electromagnetic pulse sweeps through the sky, destroying every electronic device and killing billions. For those spared, it's a question of who can be trusted and who is no longer human. So it sounds a little more like post apocalyptic science fiction. The cover is kind of creepy. So, if I do get to this one this month, there will definitely be a review. This is another copy that I got from BEA and I don't know how I still have so many books to read from May but I, I am determined to read all 
or at least almost all of my books that I got from BEA and I'm still trying so I'm falling a little behind but I haven't given up yet okay well I just finished having my breakfast I'm still in my pajamas and I have a load of homework to do so let me know what you guys got in your mailbox this week and I'll see you next week bye